Wow, look at that. All right, you guys, so today, I'm gonna show you guys how to cook those huge scallops we got. Dude, steamed scallop with vermicelli, that's the way to go, you guys. I'm serious, that is the way to go. All right, so here is a rock scallop. These are so good. Most people eat them raw, but I'm gonna show you an awesome method in which you steam them. And all you're gonna need are green onions, garlic, vermicelli, and two sauces, sesame oil and soy sauce. Super simple. So first thing you do is soak the vermicelli. You do this first so it can soften while we do other things. And for the same reason, we fill up our steamer with water, And we set it aside for it to boil. Okay, now let's get down to business. So you really gotta scrub down the shell really well and try to get as much of the algae off because we're keeping the shell and that's gonna influence the taste. Then we're gonna take the garlic and green onions. We mince them up real good like so. Next, we're going to shuck the scallop with something blunt, like a spoon or a butter knife. You're going to angle your tool so you can slip under the mantle and then scrape the adductor muscle off the shell carefully without cutting it. Remember, so I'm scraping off the shell. There you have it. The scallop in the half shell. Here it is again. There, look, you can see the mantle, that yellow lining, slip underneath it, like so, and then just carefully scrape the adductor muscle off the shell. Not cut at all, not damaged, perfect. Look at that! Huge! Alright, now that we're here, let's tell male from female. Look at the yellow gonad right here. And then the orange gonad. The yellow is the male, the orange is the female. So this one is a female. Okay, so it turns out the gonad surrounds the stomach and is really disturbing. Watch me cut it open right over here. Ugh, you don't want to eat that. Dude, that's freaking nasty. Just cut it off. Get rid of it. See the bulging part in the front is the part that has the stomach. The rest of the gonads is actually, you know, pretty good. Taking a close look at our scallop, underneath the mantle right here, you find the gills. You see this fibrous stuff? Get rid of that too. The gills are usually the most dirty part. Like it has the most bacteria and sand. It's the part that's most exposed to the environment. So just get rid of that. Take some vermicelli, then we're going to carefully wind it up into the shell so it has a nice neat appearance. 
set the meat up on top. And then we're gonna put the garlic, and then have just about a teaspoon of sesame oil and a teaspoon of soy sauce. Sesame oil first so that it doesn't float on top of the soy sauce and the meat will get more flavor. Adding green onions at this step is optional because when they cook, they tend to lose their color. And so if you want to add some, you can add some of the less green pieces or the white pieces and then you'll be fine. After about five minutes, looks like we're done, guys. Press on the vermicelli to ensure that it's fully cooked. It should be kind of chewy. And now is the time to put the green onions. There you go. Steamed scallop. So good. Man, I can't wait. Try this. This is so good. I haven't had this in so long. Ooh, man, I haven't seen the sun in days. Ooh, man, I can't wait to try this. Um, we've been having some crazy winter storms here in Texas, so I'm eating outside to celebrate. But man, look at that, you guys. Doesn't that look good? That looks hella good. Oh, whew. I'm ready. Okay, I think I'm ready to eat this. This is just freaking awesome, you guys. You gotta eat these fast, okay? Or else the vermicelli is gonna be less chewy. You want them to be chewy. You don't want them to turn crunchy. <laughs> Look at that, that's huge. <laughs> Mmm. 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 The garlic really brings out the flavor of the scallop. The ocean flavor. It's so good. Like it's I know like I made this for one of my Korean friends and he said he prefers it raw. I don't blame him. Raw is good, but dude, you're missing out. Missing out. This steamed one with the garlic, man, it just. This is so good, you guys. Oh, man. Mmm. Mmm. Dude. This is so good, you guys. You have to try this. And, um. And yeah, um, that's the. That's the end of my, um, California trip winter trip series um next videos are gonna all be in texas so hope you guys enjoy and i'm gonna be planning a bunch of trips soon like i was planning on going to florida soon but i don't know man i'm getting really distracted i want to go to hawaii so bad to go catch some samoan crabs and slipper lobsters i'm just getting every day i'm just looking up like maps and like finding up like new spots to try dude I can't wait to go cra Samoan crabbing, so I think that one's gonna be the next trip. Not Florida, it's gonna- I just have to go to Hawaii, you guys. I have to. Oh, alright. So, anyways, see you guys um, in my Texas videos, and then later in Hawaii. Um, got one more, and uh, enjoy your scallops, you guys. Cheers. <laughs>